Okay, so this is an interesting news article. This is actually an airline that's based out of Colombia. And while I am not familiar with service dog laws in Colombia, there are some changes going on over there. So let's get into this article. Evenka Avienka changes rules after carrying 25 service dogs in one flight. The new rules will be enforced as of February 1st, 2023. Hold on, I need to expand this, I can't see. Okay, I think that's just the way the page is. All right, on December 12th, an Avenka flight between Sao Paulo, Gurlo, oh God, I can't, GRU, and Bogota, El Dorado International Airport, has an impressive, had an impressive 25 service dogs on board, which caused some issues for the cabin crew handling the flight. I want to know what those issues are. <laughs> like drama! <laughs> to address this, the airline has recently changed its policy concerning animals in the cabin. What happened? Earlier this month, a Colombian journalist, Dario Catino, Catino, said on Twitter that an Avenca flight, I'm going to be struggling throughout this article, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. I uh, had at least 20 dogs all qualified as service animals on a service from Sao Paulo to Bogota. Currently, there are three daily flights between both cities. So it is uncertain which of these services was the impacted one because there's three flights. They don't know which, they don't know what, what <laughs> which airplane had the problem? Uh, Mr. Patino added that due to the size of the larger dogs, they had to lay on the aisle in the aircraft, impacting the cabin crew service. Yeah, that's a problem. That is a problem. If you have a bunch of dogs that are large and there's no room to fit them except the aisle, <laughs> that, that's rough. That's a safety hazard. That's not okay. Um, looking at flightradar24.com on December 12th, Avenka employed an Airbus A320neo on the flight AV248, a Boeing 787-8 on the flight of AV184, and an Airbus A319 on the flight AV86. At first, the reports were dismissed by Twitter users, but Avenka later confirmed the events in a tweet. The airline said, that's right, we had 25 dogs on board that flight, which wasn't easy to handle. <laughs> Since a few months ago, we have been reviewing our policy to carry pets. We must achieve a fair balance so the dogs and the passengers can fly comfortably and arrive safely to their destination. <laughs> Was it an organization like moving their dogs on one giant flight? I don't. What? If so, like shame on them. How the heck did that happen? Uh, this flight prompted some changes in Avenka. Following this furry incident, Ivanka had decided to change its pet policy. Starting on February 1st of 2023, Ivanka will introduce new measures which align with global industry policies, to quote them. From this date, Ivanka will only accept service dogs that have a maximum weight of 22 pounds. Additionally, they will also have to travel in a kennel that can be stored under the seat in front of the passenger. I don't know. I feel like that's a little too strict what there should be limits on is how many large dogs medium dogs and small dogs could be on the plane that sounds more in line of an acceptable answer this seems way too strict to me if the service dogs weigh over 10 kilograms they will have to travel on the belly of the plane without extra cost starting on that date announced the airline Okay, so maybe this is just their way of simplifying things because they're not saying that the dog can't fly. You just have to fly cheaper under under the cabin, which again, I think is a worse problem for the handler, but I, again, I don't know Columbia service dog laws. Finally, the passengers must book their pet's trip at least 48 hours before the flight. Only six pets will be allowed per avian flight on the cabin. Okay, so they did put a number limit, but they also put like only 22 pounds. And the number of pets allowed on the bellies of the plane will depend on the size of the plane. See, like Reber or even like a standard poodle, you wouldn't be able to take your, your Labrador onto that plane. So 
what this does is what if what if it's a legit seeing eye dog are are they classifying those two things as something different like one's a service dog and one's a seeing eye dog so then seeing eye dogs can come on the planes with their handlers that 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 that's what it has to be because i can't imagine putting a blind person's dog in the bottom of no that's not going to happen that can't happen similar cases globally in the last few years there was a surge in the number of service dogs or pigs cats peacocks and hamsters in cabins globally i wish they wrote this differently number of service dogs and emotional support animals pigs cats peacocks and hamsters that's what i would like to see there has been confusion between actual service dogs trained to help people with disabilities and emotional support animals which are your regular pet not trained okay i still think it could have been a little clearer that's okay at least they mentioned it at least they mentioned it according to a report the but by the Guardian earlier this year, there was a 1,000% increase in owners obtaining emotional support animal certificates between 2020, 2002 and 2015, and a further 200% increase between 2015 and 2019. To tackle this issue, several airlines have tightened their rules for transporting service and support animals globally. In 2022, the department, yeah, the DOT introduced a new measure on the, in the United States reserving the designation of service animals for dogs only, um, which I think is for the best um, because emotional support animals are, are pets, right? They are just pets. And if, if you have, let's say you have a fear of flying and you want to use your pet, well, there's other interventions that you can use in order to board that flight right? Um, there's a lot of different interventions you can use. You, you will be able to find something that will help you. Um, and I believe, I'm trying to think, you could, if, if you were that desperate, you could just pay to have your emotional support animal with you in the cabin. Right? If there, if you have an airline that's telling you, oh, hey, like, your, your animal is going to go in cargo, um, you could just ask to pay, have them on there with you, under the seat, not come out, right? Like if that's really gonna change something for you, that, that's also an option. Well, that was interesting. Um, and if any of you are have experience in the ADA law and are also lawyers. I have a couple questions for you. Uh, specifically regarding specific different situations, I have some scenarios I kind of want to run by you. If you are interested in donating your time and having me pepper you with questions, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, if not, well then, maybe, maybe some other time. <laughs> all right, guys, you can follow me on all my social media. I am on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook handle is at Caitlin's Animals or on Facebook, Caitlin's Animal Training. Um, you can also join the Facebook group Service Dog Prep if you're interested in at attending a free workshop. I'm looking at possibly doing one uh, or a few on this upcoming year. Thank you so much for joining me, guys.